Black Ranch here. Today we're going to install the Universal Motorcycle Cruise Control from SOR Products. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bracket with this screw that we took from underneath this switch box right here on the handlebar. I ran it through a few times because of the paint, so the paint kind of clogged the threads up a little bit. So you're going to have to do that on yours more than likely. So very carefully, I'm going to take the screw and put it back into the switch box and just leave it loose. This is the uh, cruise control slip ring. A couple things you want to note about it. This is the metal ring. These are set screws. This is the filler. There's an extra piece in case your grip is thin. I happen to have a thick grip that's about the right size for this. You want to keep that joint between two of the set screws. You also want to note that little eye right there and that nut, that eye is going to be on the bottom because it has to line up with the bracket. We're going to take that and we're going to slide it right onto the grip. Next thing we're going to do is take our Allen wrench and we're going to equally tighten down all these set screws until it's nice and tight. Tighten them all equally, go all the way around a couple of times. Notice this side of the set lever, that's what it's called. You're going to take it and you're going to put it up here by this, this eye bolt. And you're going to slide the bolt through just a little bit just to make sure it pokes through on the other side. And then what you're going to want to do is line it up to the bracket you installed earlier. And you're going to have to twist it a little bit to get it started in the hole. But once you get it started in the hole, you can tighten the Allen wrench on the Allen bolt until it just starts to poke through the bracket. And then what you're going to want to do is get the supplied washer and lock nut and then put those on and then tighten it. You can tighten that thing up until it's nice and snug but not so tight that you're putting too much pressure on that eye bolt. You have to twist it a little bit to get it off but now you'll have nice adjustment there all right now that you got that all on you want to finish up by tightening that bolt and then you want to do a couple of checks you want to make sure that this lever here snaps back and forth very easily when it's open you want to make sure that the throttle snaps back just like it did before you put it on and another thing you want to do is you want to set it and then make sure that you can still move the throttle by hand if you needed to if for some reason it were to to not release like it does there that's pretty much it if you're like me you want the shortest possible video to look at get things done and move on to the next project if that's you like and subscribe this is black ranch till next time